Uh, you know, most of us are pretty normal people. What if you could be a part of something bigger than yourself? As the leading fraternal organization in the world, we unite men of good character who share a belief in the brotherhood of mankind. More than a man, a mason. Visit freemason-wa.org. You know, most of us are pretty normal people. More than a man, more than a man, a mason. Normal people. Ah, uh, you know. Ah, uh, you know. So for uh, your viewing enjoyment, uh, let's take a look at yesterday's change of command ceremony. Okay, welcome everybody to the Expedition 41. And let me introduce a new commander of International Space Station, Captain Wilmer Butch. <laughs> Ah, uh, you know. Ah, uh, you know. You know, most of us are pretty normal people. <laughs> More than a man. Thank you all. <laughs> a mason. <laughs> I am ready to accept command. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. So for the International Space Station program, all the international partners, thank you very much for, um, for giving me the, uh, the keys to the family car. Thank you, Kevin. With, uh, with great humility and pleasure, I accept command of the International Space Station. Thank you, sir. We look forward to working with you as you take you know most welcome to the end of increment 40 and so i'd like to hand over the command of the international space station to maxime sarayev thank you very much and welcome to increment 41. You know, most of us are pretty normal people. After having served through Expedition 35. You know, and I would like to transfer the command. Again, hello everyone. Hello everyone on the ground. So again, I'm really glad to pick up in, uh, the station from my first commander. More than a man. To serve as commander. Buzz Lightyear to Star Command. Come in, Star Command. Star Command, come in. Do you read me? Why don't they answer? <laughs> of the space station. So, Gennady, it's your time to be commander. I, I said. <laughs> That's it. And uh, we look forward to many uh, days and hours uh, working with you, actually. Expedition 32, and looking forward to congratulating our friends back down on the ground, uh, Expedition 32. As the leading fraternal organization in the world. Local law enforcement. It's about time you got here. I'm Buzz Lightyear, Space Ranger, Universe Protection Unit. My ship has crash landed here by mistake. Yes, it is a mistake. Be Ah, uh, you know, most of us are pretty normal people. Ah, uh, you know, most of us are pretty normal people. Being an astronaut requires kind of a variety of skills. According to the records of the Ohio Grand Lodge of Masons, Neil Armstrong's father is a Freemason. In fact, Neil Armstrong Sr. is a high-ranking 33rd degree Freemason. Neil Armstrong's co-pilot, the second man to have allegedly walked on the moon, was Buzz Aldrin. At the time of the Apollo 11 mission, Buzz Aldrin was a 32 degree Freemason. 
they were in good company, as many of NASA's astronauts were also Freemasons, including Gordon Cooper, Walter Shearer, John Glenn, Edgar Mitchell, Thomas Stafford, and Paul Weitz. These men were all members of the Brotherhood, all sworn to keep secrets on pain of death. <laughs> More than a man, a mason. The three things that it takes to be an astronaut are technical skill, operational skills now the the simple wire removal effect is very very simple as it says there's a two rounded thingy here and all you're gonna do is put the other one on the uh, tip one of the tip of the string and then the other one in the other tip of the string <laughs> and and then just being fun and easy to be around. And uh, we look forward to many uh, days and hours uh, working with I would say that the number one most important quality trait is humility. And you're weightless. <laughs> that was great. Humility, humility, humility. That was great. Humility. You can't be in space and call the plumber to fix your, your toilet. You can't be in space and call an electrician to fix an electrical problem. If you were to boil it down to something simple, I would say we're all mechanics. What happens if you get a leak on that? Um, then you have a leak. You just have a leak. You've got to be able to solve your problems in one breath. Um, then you have a leak. You just have a leak. And, 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 and what you, you would do you is... You lose air. Yeah, you would... Probably seal the whole cupola off. Probably seal the. Probably seal the. Probably seal the. You've got to be able to solve your problems in one breath. We're all mechanics. Probably seal the. And then uh, there's probably a plan. I don't know off the top of my head, but there's probably a plan for. There's probably probably a plan for. We probably seal the. You've got to be able to solve your problems in one breath. I don't know off the top of my head, but there's probably a plan. Probably seal the placing. The, the mechanism might require a spacewalk. You've got to be able to solve your problems in one breath. So my question is, how can you operate a lid on the outside of the space station by manipulating something mechanical on the inside of the space station without losing air pressure? It's, it's called real good engineering. We're all mechanics. It's just really, really hard to get to the work site. Really, really hard to get to the work site. Um, then you have a leak. It would probably not be great if you were scared of uh, tight spaces. Being looking good, proceeding nominally. Crushed into your chair. Everything looking good. Proceeding nominally. Not be great if you were scared of uh, tight spaces. One more day and they'll drop from the plane, splash into the ocean. Under the Masonic moon. Not be great if you were scared of uh, tight spaces. Being an astronaut really takes somebody with an explorer's spirit who knows how to work together with others. You don't remember the shot where you put the transparency over the window? Being an astronaut absolutely requires uh, collaboration and being a good team player. Honestly, it's uh, a lot like being a good kindergartner. You just have to get along well with others. If you spill your glue, don't spill your glue again. That's why you came here. That's right. To listen to me, because I wrote an interesting book. A lot like being a good kindergartner, you didn't. Because we didn't go there, and, and that's the way it happened. But we uh, destroyed that technology. Star Command, come in. Do you read me? Why don't they answer? I destroyed that technology. <laughs> Because we didn't go there, and and that's the way it happened. Just kind of learn from your mistake. 
There are many of you out there that we would love to be a part of this team. Uh, you know, most of us are pretty normal people. Visit Freemason-WA.org. Visit Freemason-WA.org. .org. .org. When Alan Dulles brought in all the Nazi scientists and so forth, they went to two places. They went to CIA and they went to the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, which in our world we call it not a space agency. <laughs> and as Kathy O'Brien has said so clearly, that's where the bulk of the mind control has been done. .org. We cannot leave the Earth. There's no place to go. It's still real to me, damn it! <laughs> I'll be... That's where the bulk of the mind control has been done. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, guys. You were awesome. Yes, Puaska. Tak jak oczekują i nie spodziewałem się co prawda tego pytania, ale zapewniam pana, że jest płaska. Thank you so much, Mr. Funk, for saying what needed to be said. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. I was reading a lot of stuff on the flat earth. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. True, true. That's true? Yeah. Oh. It's still real to me, damn it! Because I wrote an interesting book. And that's the way it happened. Not satellite. Not satellite. And it's a movie I think the American people want to see. And the answer is no. That stuff is flat. And the answer is no. That stuff is flat. They admitted it was a composite. A balloon. Not satellite. Not satellite. We ran them flat, aren't we? Definitely. That's we are, aren't we? Flat as a pancake, Thank you. mate. <laughs> flat as a pancake. And the answer is no. Thank you so much, Mr. Funk, for saying what needed to be said. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. Well, Jest płaska. We are part of this team.